literally the height of my body. How the heck are Rooney and I meant to take up them now? Two halves, maybe? Oh, I'm so heavy. What? Hey, okay, 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 make it work, make it work. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> I feel like I need to tie my hair up to tackle this. Uh, how do I? Hey everyone, it's Bethany from Bethany Books and welcome back to this book note. As you can see from the thumbnail and the title of this video, we are doing the second half of my birthday book haul and this one is going to be a bit more of an unboxing. As you can see on the shelf behind me, I've got a lot of packages. Um, that's not it guys. these ooh, 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 sneak peek and um, which I am going to be hauling and unboxing with you today so grab yourself a snack grab yourself a cuppa of some sort of beverage because this is going to be a long one are you back have you got your snack snack tech um, and <laughs> all right so first and foremost if you guys were looking forward to a 1000 subscriber live of this I'm really sorry that I'm not doing that um if I'm gonna do something, I want to do it well, and I just don't have the best technology to assist me with that. One day, one day we will do a live together, and I'll really look forward to it, but for now, we're just gonna sit and chat and relax together um, with this very similar medium. I also want to preface this by saying you do not need these many books to be a reader. It's something I really strongly believe in. I am in a uh, privileged, position but I have also worked really hard to be at a place in my life where I can afford these all of these books are basically either second hand or if they're brand new on a massive sale which is why I went a little bit crazy but I am putting myself on a book buying ban but anyway I'm sure you guys are all oh, I'm so excited I can't breathe <sighs> breathe but I do still want to say a massive thank you um, for helping me reach the goal of 1,000 subscribers before the year was up. And at the end of this video, I'm going to be doing a $30 book giveaway. So if you are interested in that, keep on watching to the end. And if you want to see what books I'm about to share with you, keep on watching. All right, oh, let's do it. All right, I think to start with guys, we're gonna go through these books because I'm really looking forward to unboxing these and I can't really remember what is in each box, so it's gonna be a bit of a surprise. So, so the first book I have to show you is She Who Became the Sun by Shelley Parker Chan. This book, chef's kiss, and I can say that because yes, I have read it already. My best friend, um, since we were like nine years old, maybe a little bit younger, um, and I read this as a buddy read together. We're in different islands of New Zealand. I'm north, she's south. So a way we try to keep in contact with each other is reading a book every now and again. Um, I loved it, 4.5 stars. Highly recommend if you're someone who's interested in Eastern history. This one specifically for all those, the 1345 China era, where there's the Mongols and stuff. It's really, really good. I highly, highly recommend if you've read either of these books and like them. It's the same, similar kind of vibe. Um, but yes, absolutely loved this. So excited because on Goodreads it said it was book one of like a series. So I'm definitely picking up the rest of the series. All right, the next two I picked up were, oof, these. These were secondhand purchases. And if you saw my book haul week, haul week from this year, um, I managed to find book one and book three in the series for like a couple of dollars each. Um, and they only just realized that one says Lauren, oh, Lauren Gad in it. If you are Lauren Gad, I've got your old book. But anyway, book one and book three. And I always told myself um, I'll wait and hold out on buying the rest of the series until I see them secondhand. And so I did. I managed to find book, getting this the right way around, uh, book two and book four of the series. So now I can put them in order up on my shelf. Oh. And I can delve into them knowing that I have, I think this is technically like the entire series. If I look at the front of House of Hades, it does say um, that there's Heroes of Olympus, the Demigod Diary. So I feel like that must be some sort of spin-off. Um, but for the main series, I now have all four, which is really, really exciting. The next one, you may have seen over on my Instagram already, Sally Rooney, uh, ooh, 
there's a hair. Beautiful world, where are you? I am planning, as you may have seen in my YouTube polls thing, um, I said, what would you rather like? A Sally Rooney, what the hype? Or a reading like uh, Anya Taylor-Jones, that's not her name, Anya Taylor-Joy um, episode. And ultimately, I think this one won just. So I've slowly been collecting Sally Rooney books. Um, I should mention, I do have four more books in the post somewhere. Um, but I'll be showing those over on Instagram, so be sure to follow me, because I do uh, some unboxings on there. But anyway, this is the most hyped book I think I have ever seen on Instagram. I see this everywhere. And I've never read Sally Rooney before. I did pick up her Normal People, which will be floating around somewhere, um, a wee while ago because I found that in a second-hand bookstore and I was like, yep, that is mine. And so I'm slowly collecting Sally Rooney. If you read this, tell me if you think it's worth the hype. I'll be super interested. Like, I just can't believe how much I've seen that book. Next one, talking about second-hand books. I found this one for $8, a bit steep, but I decided to pick it up because this is Therese Ann Fowler's A Good Neighbourhood. And this is another book that I remember seeing everywhere on Instagram when it first came out. And honestly, I just have a bit of FOMO. I've got a bit of fear of missing out. I want to know why everyone was uh, reading this one. Like, what's so good about it? I mean, apart from the really pretty foiled leaf, which is giving me all the autumnal vibes right now. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, ju I just saw it and I wanted it. The next one I received um, for free. It was gifted to me. Thank you very much to Harper. Collins, New Zealand. J. Kristoff's Empire of the Vampire. Ah! I love J. Kristoff and you can see the uh, Nevernight trilogy just poking up up there. I'm so excited for this. I've been really in the mood for some vampiriness and I saw my friend um, Courtney and her books over on Instagram she shared a list of all the insults that she had found in this book so far that she thought were hilarious. And so, yeah, I'm just, so I haven't opened it. Look at this map. Oh, and this detail. I just love it when books put in a little bit of visual aesthetic, you know, it just makes such a big difference to the reading experience, I think. Like, look at this, guys. Yes. Oh. I cannot wait to delve into you. Mwah! Okay. Um, oh, was that the last one? All right, that was the last of the unopened books. Um, so there's some really, really good ones. A book that I was really excited to read when it came out. Some thrifts, some hyped, and I mean, I guess Stray Kristoff's Empire of the Vampire is pretty hyped over on social media at the moment, but oh my God. Even the cover is so beautiful. Hang on guys, I'm just gonna get mesmerized for a, for a wee minute. I love how it's kind of symmetrical, but kind of not. All right, we're up to this whole situation. So I'm gonna do a quick, quick swap a route. I'm gonna put those down in front of me and put the books as they um, get unpackaged up on this so we can see what I have. I'm gonna say collected instead of uh, overindulged. In. Okay, okay, we, we can all be in the same boat together. All right, there's the top. We will start with the one that is a bag because it has the most adorable little note. Can we see that? It says, hope you enjoy these as much as I did. So this is a selection of five books I found on Trade Me. You've heard me talk about Trade Me before here. There's five books in here. I'm gonna do the classic, uh, close my eyes, pull out and be excited because I'm always excited when it comes to books. So, wait, is it sellotape together? Oh no, it's knotted together. Oh, skizzers. I can like see that there's a spine right there and I'm like, wait. Do we trust me to chop it without looking at the spine? Okay, okay. I, I can see the spine. I know what the first one is, guys. It is. Uh, Leanne Moriarty's Nine Perfect Strangers. And, okay, here's the real talk. 
the person selling this had like a five book deal and this is one of the books I think that I I saw three and I knew three I definitely wanted although classic me I've kind of forgotten what they were and then I picked two that I was like oh yeah I, I could read those and this is one of those I could read those ones I remember that because Liam Moriarty is an author that I have on my shelf somewhere from their um from a mystery book box I did where is it I know I've got it somewhere Oh my gosh, I'm blind. They're right here. Look at that, guys. They're right there. Um, oh, I have Her Husband Secret and Big Little Lies. Um, that, like I said, I've picked up secondhand elsewhere. And this kind of, oh, it's not the same height, but it kind of fits the vibe. I don't know. I was just like, hecka Rooney, guys. Why not pick up this? Um, what's I'm actually about real quick? Look, it's honestly probably not something I would pick up if I saw it in a secondhand bookshop, but like I said, there was a deal and um, it was worth just picking up one that I was like so so about. All right, moving on. What's the front? Hey, I got. <gasps> yes! The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton. The fact that I bought these books for myself always makes me smile because I'm like, yes, gal, gift yourself the things. Again, I think um, I'm getting a lot better at purchasing books that I've seen around or have been hyped that I genuinely am interested in. And this is one that I really want because it's meant to be a celebration but it ends in tragedy. Fireworks explode, the beautiful daughter of the house is killed, but Evelyn doesn't die once. Um, basically the day repeats itself over and over again and it just sounds really creepy. Until her murder, oh, hello aunt. Um, until her murder is solved, I believe she does the day. So I'm just getting, yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm getting a lot better um, with my book purchases, although I still have no self-control. I'm just checking the detail. Oh, hang on, look guys, there's a map. Um, yeah, I'm just checking the quality and this, honestly, aside from a little cracked spine and I crack my spines anyway. Oh my God, I'm not, this is literally the pile that's up to my upper chest, my decolletage, and I have issues. Ooh, yes. Okay, so I have read Breathless before. I received it as a digital act. This is Jennifer Neven, I think is how you say their name, um, book. And like I say, I read the digital act thanks to turning pages New Zealand but like this I bought with my own money because I really wanted a physical copy because that's how much I love this book it's one of those books that really stays with me and that's quite a big deal for me because I just read and I love a book but I almost promptly forget about what happens half the time so I'm really really excited to have this in my collection because it's one that I just really wanted and I've just realized it says university bookshop and that's the bookshop I went to in Otago when I did my university. That's that's where I got books. The universe works in amazing ways. Okay. Oh, yes. I have recently finished the uh, Brown Sisters series and I'm just very, very excited to start collecting them because they're so good and I can imagine them being a series. I'm not much of a rereader, but if I wanted to delve into just a feel good romance, this would be the series for that. And even better, I'm pretty sure this is the first book in the series. Um, also, I want to mention Talia Hibbert includes these little author notes, which are trigger warnings in her books. And I think every author should do that. It doesn't spoil the book. It just gives people a heads up. Um, okay, really stoked to have that as part of the collection. There's one more. This was the second. Oh yeah, I can try this. The beautiful. Um, this one I picked because Renee Adier. I have, oh, you can't see. They're up on one of my upper shelves. I have her, so, what's it called? Wrath in the Dawn. There we go. Wrath in the Dawn series. 
um, and of course her Flame in the Mist. I quite like her writing, although Flame in the Mist book two, yeah, wasn't great, um, but the beautiful. Okay, cool. This sounds like a, <laughs> no, I didn't read the blur before I bought it. Don't hate me. <laughs> this is a paranormal New Orleans, 1872, a city ruled by the dead. And our main character is 17. She has to flee Paris. She's uh, basically gets caught in the midst of an age old feud between the darkest creatures of the night where the price of forbidden love is her life. Okay, I'm down for that trope. Um, I'm sure Renee, We'll have, uh, will be an, I'm sure it'll be an entertaining story. All right. Okay, Craft Knife is coming out, my loves, where, wherever I put it. Am I sitting on a craft knife? Surely not. Found it. All right, we are on to this pile. This one is a trade me one, I can tell, because I definitely did not order a makeup box. Um, So. I should probably slice away from myself. Isn't that what all the health professional people or just, you know, sensible people say? Alright. Dun 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 dun. Oh, I thought that was being so satisfying and I genuinely missed some tape. Take two. <laughs> yes! Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I was just laughing at it being a colour pop box, but yes for um like reusing. Okay. So the first one we all just saw there was Hair of Fire. So wait, air? Hair. Air. Air of Fire. So you should be able to see here I have two Kingdom of Ash uh two Throne of Glass books there. I am just like with the Gosh, I've got books everywhere. Just like with the Heroes of Olympus series, I'm slowly collecting them because I just really want them as part of my collection. So this is one of the ones to add to that collection. And the second one. And it's hardcover. Oh my gosh, yes. Um, this is King of Scars by the Queen, Leigh Bardugo, or is it Lee? Sorry, I think I've been pronouncing her name wrong all the time. I need to correct that, Lee. Badugo. Lay Badugo. Oh gosh, now I'm doubting myself. By Miss Badugo, I have a uh, King of Scars in this amazing hard copy. Um, uh, again, just to my shelves, I have the Six of Crows Crooked Kingdom series, which I purchased secondhand, and I'm just stocking up, uh, building my collection, but this is one that I haven't read because I absolutely adored, um, is it Nikolai? Yeah, I was gonna say Nikolaj. Nikolai in the original trilogy. And I was just terrified and petrified that just, this wouldn't, this wouldn't be it for me. I just, so I still not read it. But I've got it. It's beautiful in ridiculously great condition. Um, is there a map? There is a map. Good, good, good. Your gal loves a map. So beautiful. I had a dream the other night, and honestly, it sounds bad, but it could be a cool idea, um, where I opened all my books with maps that I've read and I eternally want to keep as part of my collection, and I carefully sliced out all of the maps and framed them and used them as wall art in my library. And like, I don't want to sabotage the books, I could definitely just find the maps online. But like, that could be a cool art piece. Okay, we have the Nile. Um, I'm pretty sure I've either crossed out my addresses um, because it's like my home address where I am right now, or it's just my PO box, which you can find below. Oh, this one has a rippy. Mm. Okay, I have absolutely no idea what's gonna be in here. I've been eyeing this book up for ages because if I'm not wrong, this is a New Zealand author. Um, do we have a about the author section? Yeah, during her breaks, she's either at home in New Zealand or visiting her Shanghai relatives. Yeah, so um, she calls Aotearoa her home. So I really wanted to spot a, hello aeroplane, I am talking about books. I have better things than you do, Shudu.
Yeah, that's right. Disappear. Fuck. Um, yeah, I really wanted to spot some um, local authors and this one just sounds right up my alley. It's a uh, blood feud between two gangs, 1926 Shanghai. And like I read She Who Became the Sun. I love just books based in Asia. I just have a fascination. I blame my love of Mulan, favorite movie in the entire world. So it just sounds right up my alley. All right, I need to do something because I've obviously run out of space. Um, give me a second. All right, we have made a bit more space. Let's keep going. We have another one from the Nile. I'm pretty sure these were all in the same pack. Like I bought these all in the same order. Cutting away from me because I'm a professional. I just, I just opened it up and I can see both the spines. All right. Oh, I'm so excited for both of these. So, so much. First up, we have the House of the Cerulean Sea. Oh, it's smaller in my hands than I expected, which is fine. Just it's throwing me off a little bit, as you can obviously tell. All right, so when I kept saying, seeing this crop up online, I genuinely thought it was a kid's book, like a middle grade book. I think it's just because of the cover. Um, and yeah, it is because of the cover. But then I got reading into it and I realized that they were more, more adult books and that blew my mind. And so I decided to give TJ Clune a go. I know he's got Under the Whispering Door, which I think, is that a later publishing one? Because I've seen that pop up online too. Yeah, Under the Whispering Door is his second book. So picked up his first one. Really excited. I see on the back it calls it a modern fairy tale. Um, so I think this might be a Christmas time read, but <sighs> excited. And then the other one that I have in here. Again, I just talked about like the Asian um, stories. Look how beautiful it is. I'm gonna cry. Like I'm not even joking. I can feel tears welling up. Just the colors. Like I've actually, okay. Oh, it's getting emotional. For all of the beauty and softness that it's cover kind of embodies, it's actually a pretty dark story. So our main character here is character is called Shiorianma and she's the only princess of Kyata. Um, basically forbidden magic runs in her vein. Obviously the word forbidden is used there so she's not meant to have it. On the morning of her betrothal ceremony um, Shiori loses control. Her stepmother turns all of her brothers into cranes. I'm guessing she has six brothers and every time um, Shiora talks about her magic one of her brothers will be killed. So it actually sounds pretty dark at the heart of it, almost like um, grim fairy tale vibes, but six crimson cranes, everybody. <sighs> so beautiful. All right, I actually still have five packages here. Let's go for one of the smaller ones. This has come from Amazon. And I actually think I know what this one is. Don't worry guys, I checked the book wasn't there before I did that. <laughs> oh, just my receipt. Alrighty, so this is Finding Lancelot, Lancelot by Tamara Palmer. This one you probably haven't heard of. It is a self-published novel and the author reached out to me over on Instagram and I said, yeah, I haven't got many... Wait, where are my acts? Oh, they're down there. Um, I've only got maybe a couple of self-published author acts I need to get to and I always like giving unknown authors uh, a bit more of a platform if I think their book is good. So this is Finding Lancelot. Fed up with a career path that is leading nowhere, less than happy relationships with family and friends and topped off by a sudden and painful breakup with her longtime boyfriend, Amanda finds a flyer advertising past life regressions um, on a Starbucks bulletin board. Basically, she goes from Chicago to the 15th century Western England to present day Rena Renaissance Fair in Colorado. And it just sounds really cool to me in terms of the 
bouncing from different worlds. Part of the reason I love Sean and McGuire's, um, I always forget the name of the series, but Sean and McGuire's series is the different worlds you bounce into. And I am a reader who loves world building. I love reading because I love experience the world as well as the characters and everything. But I love being immersed in a place that isn't reality. So I'm really excited um, to read more about that. And it's always nice seeing a shorter book um just under 300 pages so i'm really excited to read that one. Oh, does it are you gonna slot on oh perfect Alrighty. um let's do a second hand one i can tell it's second hand again just because like the postage i don't need to say much uh I got book one in the series. So I think, how many are there in the Throne of Glass series? Is it seven? Eight. Seven if you don't count the Assassin's Blade prequel. So I've got a Throne of Glass. What do I have? Uh, I don't have Crown of Midnight. I have Air of Fire. I don't have Queen of Shadows. I don't have Empire of Storms, but I've got Tower of and Kingdom of Ash. So I've got book one, three, six and seven. <laughs> Okay, cool though. It's actually kind of fun um, finding them online and collecting them. Alrighty, so we've got this one and we've got these two big ones. Let's let's do the small one and leave the big one um, to the end. Okay, there's two in here and I didn't make the same mistake. I um, avoided looking at them. I can feel some sort of embossing. Okay. This is for the Anya Taylor-Joy video that I mentioned. Um, Everything I Know About Love by Dolly Alderton. And I keep seeing this author's name and wanting to say Dolly Patton, but that is not the same person. Um, I'm really interested to delve into this because it's really not something I would normally pick up. But I've seen lots of people liking it. So where's the like... Oh god, they've got so many like... Look, it's a great book. On the back too. Guys, can we just put blurbs on the back? There's more. Look at this. I don't... Look, I don't care what like newspapers say because the reality is I'm a cynic and I figure that you could always pay a newspaper to publish something nice. Um, where's the actual blurb? There's like no blurb on this. Okay, from my understanding though, it's kind of like an autobiography of Dolly Alderton as she goes through her 20s. I'm 25, I was just having a conversation with a mate called Chloe about how <laughs> it's this weird feeling where you're an adult but you don't really feel like an adult. So I'm hoping maybe this can shed some light on uh, my current stage in life. Um, oh, perfect fit. All right. Ah. Conversations with friends. Um, when I did research on Sally Rooney and asked people like, what's some of her best books in your opinion? The ones that came up were Conversations with Friends, Normal People, and then of course I've seen the new one everywhere. So I decided to pick this one up in the sale as well. Um, oh, okay, I need to find this edition of Normal People because I want to see if they all look good together on the shelf. Oh, for some reason it's over here. Alrighty, so these are the um, three I have. And they are all different sizes. I'm okay. I promise I'm okay. Look. The fact that they're not a si You know what? The fact that they are standalones and they are not a series, that makes it okay for me. All right, so, um, yes. I have a couple of Sally Rooney's. All right, let's get on to these big packages, eh? I'm going to try really hard again not to accidentally see the covers. Oh, that's smaller than I thought it was going to be, which again is nice to sometimes have shorter books. So this is on Earth, We're Briefly Gorgeous by Ocean Vuong. 
form. Um, I originally had this being talked over on the Books Unbound podcast and it sounded really poetic when Ariel Bissett and I always feel bad because I forget her name but the um, other co-host and they were talking about how poetic it was and I was just like you know what I could do with something really poetic um, so I'm very intrigued by it I've seen it talked about a few times um, so yeah, I picked it up when I saw it was on sale. Oh, this one feels thicker. Oh, I'm so good, aren't I? We have the King of Scars and we have Rule the Wo uh, Rule the Wolves. I mean, look, this one isn't hardback, but I'm pretty sure these are going to be the same height. Yeah, they're the same height, so I am not as upset. Rule the Wolves, book two in The King of Scars. I obviously need to hurry up and get around to reading King of Scars because, um, because oh, I've got the sequel. Sorry, guys, I just get a bit lost in, in the new books. Ah, oh, cool. This one has a map too. Always appreciate a map. I have, like, officially run out of room, though, haven't I? Um... Uh, let's sneak you in there. This is another one I actually asked over on Instagram. Hey guys, what's a really good Colleen Hoover book? Because she's an author I see all the time and I haven't read her and I want to start reading her. It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. That's how this one came into my um, possession. It's got, I don't know if you can see that, I mean maybe the ring light helps you see, but it's really shiny which I prefer over really matte it's just interesting texture wise for me um I have no idea what this is about I picked it up it's a pretty recognizable cover I think I got it on sale for maybe $14 I'm intrigued uh, let me know if you want me to do a what the hype episode on Colleen Hoover as well as Sally Rooney um, alright. And the last bo uh, box in this book. The last book in this box. So, this is Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Manisal Manisalco? Carrie Manisalco? Two sisters, one murder, a quest for vengeance that will unleash hell itself. Look, sometimes all I want is a YA fantasy. And is this actually YA? Don't quote me guys on this being YA. But sometimes just all I want is a really dark fantasy book and I'm hoping this um, provides. I remember reading uh, Harrow the Ninth and wanting like some sort of vibe from it that the book didn't deliver. I'm hoping this kind of fills that void for me. Okay, all right, we're down to the last one. Oh, there's not a... How do I open this one? Oh, it's there. Wait, away from me. Don't give the subscribers a heart attack, Bethany. Don't give the people a heart attack. Okay, okay. I'm gonna do the same. It's quite heavy, to be honest. Um, I'm gonna count with my fingers how many books there are. One, two, three, Four, five. All right, we've got five books left, guys. Out of my peripheral vision. Okay, I'm pretty sure the second book for this series has come out and it's been getting a lot of good press. Um, press, I mean, most people seem to be liking it. So this is the Thursday Murder Club and it's a premise which seems very original to me. I don't think I've read anything quite like it. So, in a peaceful retirement village, four unlikely friends meet up once a week to investigate and solve murders. Basically though, somebody gets murdered, like right on their doorstep, and they all are pushing 80 years old, which I think is adorable. Um, I need more books about elderly people. Um, but they still have a few tricks up their sleeves, kind of unorthodox but brilliant gang catch the killer. It sounds to me like Scoo if the Scooby-Doo gang were like 80 and sadly Scooby had passed away because dogs don't live the same length of time as humans do. But um, 
that's the vibe it's giving me. I'm really excited. Like, I can just imagine the murderer being like, ah, if it weren't for you meddling elderly. I really want to read more books like that. Okay. Can I tell which is the right way? Yes. Honestly, I'm so, so, so excited for all of these books. And I've only just realized quite how many I bought. I am not allowed to buy any more books until Christmas, Bethany. No more books until Christmas, Bethany. Okay. Um, City of Brass. This is a book that has been recommended wrong word, requested that I do a What The Hype episode on because lots of people seem to like it. Um, Lainey Taylor herself has said dizzing, dizzingly, she could have used an easier word to say, dizzingly magical and still utterly believable. And this is by S.A. Chakraborty. Um, in the markets of the 18th century, Cairo, thieves, tricksters, con artists and outcasts eke out a living, swindling rich nobles and foreign invaders. Um, but there's going to be jinn and spirits and magic and... Um... Who else really knows? Sometimes not knowing much is good. And yes, that is also an excuse for not knowing really what the book is about that I just bought. Hey, at least I'm honest. All right, three books left. All right. Hey, the Gilded Ones. I just caught sight of how long this video has been going on. Thank you so much if you're still here. The Gilded Ones. This is by Namina Fauna and Outcast by Blood, Warriors by Choice. It just sounds really like cool girl power. Um, oh, are we girls or are we demons? Are we going to die or are we going to survive? A young heroine fights to save a world that could dare tame her and discovers she has her own fiercest weapon. Wait a second, no. 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 All the way round two. Well, this is officially great. Uh, alrighty, let's keep going. Second to last. I feel like this has been a bit of a theme with this haul, actually. Kristen Hanna, an author who I've seen a lot and has a wide range of books, but I haven't read any of them. And I think the Nightingale... Look at the spine. And I think the Nightingale is one of her more recent ones. Um... Oh, I just saw that apparently Kirsten is a lawyer. That's cool. Oh my gosh, yeah, look at all of her books. Look at them all. That's ridiculous. She's got a new new one out of the way and it's got like wheat on the on the front. It's so pretty. When you buy books online, um, this is from Mighty 8 by the way, you can only see the front of them. Um, so I had no idea what the spine or the sprayed edges looked like over there. All right, last book. I'm sure it'll be a good one because this whole haul has been good. I remember this now. Okay guys, so I have this idea to start a new series. Not like I um, haven't got enough on because, you know, I just take so long to, well, it's not that I take so long. I just bite off quite a bit in some of the series episodes. Um, but I was thinking of starting a new series where I do reading the book versus the adaptation. I don't have a name for it and thought I could kick it off with you. Um, I watched Gossip Girl in my first year of university, so Dan, um, I don't know. I'm just very intrigued and it got a lot of air time on social media. The show did. So I was just like, you know what? Let's read this book and, com oh. and, and compare it to, uh, you know, the, the series. So. I don't know when. I've got lots of other things in the works at the moment, but there will be a video where I read this book and watch the first season. Um, I have no idea what to expect. All right, team. So that is the books I've bought. That is also stupidly ridiculous amount of books. Um, but I'm really, really excited for every single one of them. And who am I to say no to myself when there's a big birthday book sale? Well, it wasn't a book sale for my birthday, but I'm going to pretend it was. 
they're all so good. I'm so excited for every single book up on that shelf. I'm so, so ridiculously excited. Okay, um, <laughs> I did mention at the beginning of this video, sorry, my thoughts are just a little bit everywhere, um, that I really want to do a giveaway. So, if you would like a New Zealand $30 book voucher, I think in uh, American dollars that must be about $23 at the moment, 23 American. If you'd like a New Zealand $30 book voucher, please let me know by all you gotta do is pop down in the comments below. I'd love to be in the draw to win, please, and leave me your Instagram handle because that's the easiest way. If you don't have an Instagram handle, just comment that as well, and I'm sure I can find another way to contact you. Um, uh, in terms of how it'll get to you, it can be in the form of an an, an yeah, it can be in the form of an Amazon uh, gift card. Or alternatively, if you have PayPal, I am more than happy to just directly transfer you the $30 so you can go around and support your own local businesses and bookshops because um, I know that's something we should all be trying to do a bit more. So again, if you want New Zealand $30 to spend on some books, leave a comment down below, leave your Instagram handle and just be like, I want to win. Um, or just, you know, something that indicates you'd like to be into it. I'm not making a big deal. You don't need to go follow me everywhere or anything like that. It's just a big thank you from the bottom of my heart for supporting me so much on this channel. <sighs> I'm not gonna get teary, but guys, thank you so, so much. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a cheeky like and subscribe down below. The next goal is the 2000 mark. So thank you all so much for watching. Enjoy all the places you go on your own reading adventures and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.